hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Uh, Craig at Flooded again here. I want to talk about Brendan Kavanagh, who you may be aware it was trending a little bit on social media, much to his joy, I'm sure. Uh, a guy playing piano in, I think it's St. Pancras Station, uh, some Chinese, a, a, a group, a Chinese group, a, a group of Chinese people asked him to not include their faces in his video, which I think was a live stream. Um, and then the police were called. That's all I know about the story. But it kept popping up. I sort of did my usual spiel about, you know, St. Pancras Station is not public. It's private. You can't do what you want. Uh, on uh, on Twitter, follow me by the way at Flooded. Uh, but I thought because it is kind of like still going on, I'd make a little response video uh, because um, I know a little bit about uh, filming in public, and there's always a grey area around people who are filming, you know, with their mobile phones for their YouTube channels or for TikTok or whatever. You know, does that really matter? Um, my opinion is that well, we need to know if it matters or not, when you consider like a video getting 1.5 million views can earn the maker of that video about two and a half grand, um, it's, how is that not commercial? I couldn't make a video in St. Pancras professionally and get two and a half grand, <laughs> I doubt. But uh, so it's this gray area of is, is YouTube in professional? It kind of is now. So I think that we are set for the laws to be changed. Let's have a look at the video. Oh, dear. There it is. So, where is he? Pretty much the same. This is, this is uh, Brendan Kavanagh. He always wears the... He, I, I don't know. He's got, I, I've just been reading a little bit about him. I think he always wears the glasses. Um... I think he calls himself the Boogie Woogie Warrior or the Boogie Woogie Gorilla Boogie Woogie. I don't know. Some of, um, the thing is, though, this guy, this guy, this is why I want to make a video about it. He's got, he's got 2.1 or nearly 2.2 million subscribers on the YouTubes. Look at that. So this guy is doing all right. Thank you very much. There you go. Gorilla Warfare Piano. So, you know, this is very much a commercial thing for him. And I have noticed that, you know, I think he kind of wants the police to come up and sort of tell him to stop because that makes a better video, doesn't it? This video here has got 1.6 million. So that video there is two and a half grand. Uh, these are just people coming up, you know, a quarter of a million views. He's got some tutorials, half, half of oh, 400,000 views, half a million views. Um, all the stuff with the police, 2.2 .2 million views, police call to stop filming. Having said that, here's one, um, girl in red trousers to strap piano. <laughs> I don't know. So let's have a look at the video that, uh, caused all the fuss. Uh, catch up. This is a Miles, what's his name? Can't remember his name. Uh, Let's have a look at the video anyway. Martin, I'll do a few songs for you and just stay there because there's a lot of kind of uh, surreptitious activity going on in the station. I might need your help. So stay there, hit the like button, let's rock and roll. I wasn't sure what he meant when he says surreptitious, but he's, he, he goes on to say there's Japanese people everywhere. So what this guy does is he sits down, he plays boogie woogie piano in in places where the public are, I'm using my, I'm getting legal with my language. And he plays a bit of boogie woogie or whatever. People can come up. He knows, apparently this guy's a regular. He comes up and he joins in and they have a good old time. And he brings a lot of jolliness to the, the passers-by and he gets a bit of content. But if you look in the background here, this, these people here become the problem. So they play away. They have a little song. Japanese people here doing. Is he saying they keep saying there's Japanese people? Can you see them? There's all sorts of stuff we've got. So he's now he's now changing the. They're now they're no longer just passerbys. They are now being featured in the video. He's featuring these. He's picking them out. Imagine uh, if it was a child, right? Imagine you were like uh, some toddlers, a group of toddlers. Um, if he said, "Oh, look, there's a group of toddlers over there," 
uh, th there'd be a reason why you'd feel a little bit uncomfortable about him doing that. Uh, and you might be looking at this going, well, well that's completely different. Um, the issue would be around identifying the children. In fact, there's a kid there, look. Who's, who's that person? Who's that person? Why are they there? You know, should they be there? Do they have a right to, <laughs> to not let the world know that they're there? It's a private space. The thing is, if, if they feel, uh, the, the, the key thing is about the law is, if they feel that they don't want to be broadcast to the world um, and, and they want to do something about it, what they do is they go to the management of the, the, pri the private management who, who run St. Pancras and they say, uh, we're taking you to suing you because um, I lost my job uh, because you put my, you let somebody put my face on the internet uh, and I'm suing you for that. And it would be an interesting court case. And these court cases have happened before where uh, people have been filmed in places they perhaps weren't supposed to be, but they had a, a, a legitimate reason, but it caused them grief and problems and they've made the pub that they were in or the shopping centre or wherever it was accountable because these are private spaces that invite the public in Right? They're not public spaces. They're not run by the council, you know. And even places run by the council, you know, sometimes you need to get permission. That's more to do with safety and stuff like that. Uh, every time I filmed on, I filmed on the Bendy Bridge and I filmed in the Royal Parks in London. And every time we've done it, we needed to get a license or a permit to do it. And quite often, the only question they ask you is, how many of you is there? And you say, oh, it's going to be like six of us. That then becomes like a, a hazard. Uh, so they want to... They, 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 they'll they'll want to send if this if it's like over six i think they needed to send somebody down to be with you like a security guard or whatever so there's um safety issues around uh because if something happened where somebody tripped and or were hurt that private organization which has invited the public to use that bridge then become uh responsible and they have to show that they've done something to try and prevent do you get what I'm saying? It's all, it's a quagmire. And, uh, but people who are making YouTube videos, I think need to start being classed as commercial, um, professional uh, videographers or not journalists, but, you know, uh, professionals. And they should be guarded as such and uh, should have the laws applying to them. Let's let's get on to this bit with the Chinese. A people. Japanese TV crew in the state. He keeps assisting, even though they're holding up chi flags of China. They've all got flags in their hand. There's, you know, Flag of China. He keeps calling them Japanese, this guy. Go on. But it's interesting because when he talks to them, he thinks they're the ignorant ones. <laughs> and he thinks that he doesn't know what the flag of China looks like. Jim, perhaps we can do a bit of microphone. I'll never do that trouble in mind. It's well, the do same the same thing. thing again. Go on. So these two have a little um, bit of a play around. Jim, Jim, all sorts of Japanese people here today. Lots, lots of Japanese people look holding up. I don't know why Japanese people are holding up flags of China, but they are. Um, she's now talking to him. This woman here is talking to the guy. This is the guy who was playing the piano a minute ago. So he would argue, I make videos about me playing the piano and teaching the piano. Uh, so why is he filming? Why, why is he turning the camera onto these folk? Which he does do. So he plays a bit more piano. You can see there's a bit of a conversation going on in the background. I don't know what's happening yet. Right, so he's coming to say... Oh, yeah, of course, of course. We've got the Chinese here. All right, he now knows they're Chinese. <laughs> That's a development. I because we're here for Chinese TV as well. Oh, yeah. This guy here is filming, interestingly. He's got a tripod in his hand there. He's got, like, an Osmo um, Steadicam thing, and he's filming on his phone. Um, They're with this guy here as well who's not Chinese, by the looks of him, though I don't know where he was born. I don't know what classifies you as Chinese, but he doesn't have the uh, the signs of being Chinese. They're all holding these yellow cards. Did you think as all of us in your cameras? Um, you now, she's dressed in rather, uh, you know, very different way, so I'm wondering if they're actually filming something commercial themselves. Presumably they've had permission to do that. It looks like they are their own little film unit. I don't know. Are we allowed? Well. No, we're, we're no. no. Yeah, yeah, so See, he's humouring her now, which I think is a little bit patronising. But he's, he's taking the piss. Chinese TV. 
They're being very polite, very nice, non-disclosable. I think what's happening here is she works for like a TV company or something. She's saying what we're filming uh, is like copyright. We can't let you film it, which the uh, I think if it was out in the street. It would be completely different. It wouldn't be so complicated. Will we get in trouble with the Chinese? Will we? Will we? He's totally taking the piss. He's loving this. So is this is this? Would you say now become a video about a guy playing boogie woogie piano, or is this a video about him sort of taking the piss out of these guys here? Which I, I've got no problem with him taking the piss out of them. I don't know if he would behave the same way if they weren't Chinese, but okay. So, so just say that according to the Japan, Chinese law, we're not Japanese. allowed to film you, is that right? So that basically... Um, All right, so this guy, the guy who's just spoken up off camera to the left, he's he's about he's about to get serious. I will much appreciate it when you are whatever you're Whoa. doing. That oh, you yeah. don't put our it's too late, mate. Her face on, on, oh. on, on yes, TV. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so what will happen if... Okay, so what's happening? It reminds me of Bend Over. Uh, you know Bend Over? He's about 56 years old, this guy. Yeah. 57. Yeah. Who's this guy in the background? The only thing is, it's just, it's just like there's other people filming as well. Uh, that's there's other people filming as well. Oh, yeah, but they don't have 2.7 million subscribers making <laughs> two and a half grand for out of their videos from Google advertising. So this kind absolutely of like goes fine. on. That's other people's business, they can make their own decisions. So, That's uh, absolutely uh, so fine. how come Sarah? It's the only issue it's I've got. It's just not us, please. Just not us. No, but please. what I'm saying is there's yeah. other people filming you as well. Oh no, no, no! no. It, it's just, just make sure that we are very, very secure in the reason that we don't want our voice or picture being filmed. We're very secure in the reason. Yeah, but there's a language breakdown, so it's not really clear. W w w w I mean. Everyone has a right to expect privacy in a private place. The, the issue is, is St. Pancras Railway Station a private place? Well, technically it is. Everyone there is there by invitation. You can be thrown out and banned from going there ever again. Um, if, if the status of the invitation changes, i.e. somebody at the station says, right, you have to leave, you're then on their property without invitation, uh, you're trespassing, basically, and then they can call the government, uh, not the government, the police to say, we've got somebody trespassing on our property here. Here, please come and remove them. That's that, you see. So it's not so much about whether you're allowed to film. It's about permissions, about where, where you can and can't do. And you don't have, you have full control, really, to do filming in the street. As long as you're not causing, like, if you're causing problems for other people, the, the issue isn't that you're filming the street, it's that you then are harassing people. See what I mean? It's that different laws apply to the uh, effect of what you're doing. So you're allowed to film in public places. You can film people going in and out of their businesses if you want. That's absolutely allowed. I, I, it, but, but and by the way, I don't care about any of this. I don't really care that he's filming in St. Pancras Station. I'm just telling you that's how it works. Because I know, because I've, I've experienced it. I've been out with, you know, because when um, when I was working at the BBC, we started being given uh, cameras. Uh, researchers would be given cameras to go out and film, and we, we didn't have to use proper film crews with sound recordists and, you know, presenters, and we could actually go out with our own cameras. So one person with a camera could wander around. And if that uh, footage went out and it was of, say, a royal park or it was a, a shopping centre, then that shopping centre might have an issue around, well, when did you come and film that for that BBC Two show? We've just seen our shopping centre on your show. It's not a news programme. Why? Have, when did you... What? Because there's issues around... I don't know what there's issues around doing that, but it's it's a, it's not a grey area, actually, but um, you, can't, you can't do it. And, and it's all about whether you're featuring people as well. I once asked a question about could, if I was filming in the street and say there's a little girl eating a lollipop, like, like a, you know, I don't know, somebody who's 12 years old licking an ice cream, could I do a real big close-up of them? Or would that be, a pro they would say, they say, no, that's absolutely fine. This was Channel 5 lawyers talking to uh, about that. This is not absolutely fine. Because I was asking about doing cutaways of a summer's day and, uh, they said, no, that's absolutely fine. It's more to do within the editing 
what you do with that footage and what music to put under and what context you give it. And it's, you know, there's all sorts of, it's, it's, it's not complicated. It's actually pretty obvious. Um, anyway, it's obvious to me that this guy here is no longer making a video about boogie woogie music in St. Pancras. He's now having a bit of fun because he knows this is great content uh, with these guys. Let's see how it develops. And then, yeah, that's just the relationship between you and me. You uh, and us, what, basically. What relationship? Just, now, we are very, so I'm gonna repeat that. Yeah. All of us, we cannot share our images online. Why? Yeah, there's because no reason, why? Why? We, that's our choice. That's our right. Oh, so it's, it's not a legal thing? It, it's, it's very possible that there could be a huge issue for them going back to China and having their images on social media. Um, you know, they, it could be that they don't actually mind. They don't really care that they're on social media, but there are people in China who would care and it could cr cr cause huge problems for them. Uh, but let's see what happens. It is a legal thing because this is our right what we're protecting and we want don't want our voice or images okay. to be revealed online. I'm really appreciating it. This is not your fault, obviously. Yeah. And this is not our fault, obviously. Yeah, that we, ha we have our own agreement with other people that we cannot be shown online. Okay. We are so sorry about this. So who, who's allowed to record you then? Uh, just, just making sure you're not recording us, yeah? Because if you are recording us, that when we are saying this, you're still recording, and then we will put a legal action into it. Oh, okay. It's just, he's now threatening legal action against them, which is going to be interesting. Yeah. Because they, they would, they, they, they if if the effect of him what he's doing if what he's doing means harm might come to them then uh they'll have quite a strong case but they can't put a case against him they'd have to put a case against the the business which aren't doing anything about him but the business might not even know he's there yet so they, they'd get off as well so they need to now alert the business to say this guy is filming us and he's featuring us in his video and you could say, well, they went up to him. Yeah, well, he could have stopped the camera because 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 he's he, he's educated and knows that he's not allowed to feature people. He's he's not about featuring people. But this is great content, so he just keeps rolling with it. I think this is live anyway. I, I, I certainly hope it is. We'll put a legal action. Really? Into it. We will. Because because then there's a big issue if it's not live. Why did you uh, upload this? I'm sorry. This is the end of the conversation. This is all right. Oh, we're protect This guy's getting stroppy now. Acting, and that's it. But what right? I don't understand. Image right. Image right. Yeah, we're not sharing this. Are, image are you right. from China? I, I, that's not a question. We, the only thing we are arguing is that yeah. we are protecting our own image right. You're not sharing. He he doesn't give a toss about it. He he think he, he loves so this. So if we're in public. Yeah, exactly. No no sharing. So uh, that's that's a false claim. You're you're not in public. You're amongst the public. You're invited into a private space. Not allowed no to share. sharing. Yes, no sharing. Us. Share it yourself. That's fine. No sharing. Us. Okay. No and sharing. What, please share me. Oh, yes. Share you, yeah. <laughs> so, who, and if oh, one day, he's trying to keep it all. I'm really we're, sorry. We're on a schedule but, here. So that, me too. But we're in a free country, mate. That's true. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't like it. Bag her off. Uh, yeah, it's starting to turn, isn't it? We're in a free country, mate. You're not. China now, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. This is really. You're not in China now, you know. Oh my God, I, it's borderline. Where his heart is, right here, his heart, his eyebrows. He don't like this guy because he's Chinese. I don't think. Why is he bringing up it, the nation that he's from, or the fact that he's Chinese? It hasn't been flagged as that's the reason there's a problem. I don't know. No, we're not in communist China. We're in a free country. Communist. Oh my God, this is getting cringe. Leave it out, Brendan. Leave it out, We're in a free country, mate. We live in a free country. Do we want? Can't we? No, you can't. He's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Doing where we want. You can call the police if you want. I'll be quite happy to call the police. Look at the eyebrows. Look at the indignance. He's absolutely sure he's correct in what he's doing, uh, as is the other guy. But. This ain't good. No, but listen, we're all free here, mate. And this is free. We're all free here, mate. What's he talking about? He doesn't know what he's talking about. You're not free to do what you want anywhere you like. And that, if, if that was true, I, why don't I set a stall up here selling T-shirts, for example? Think I'd get away with doing that? Think I'm free to do what I want, mate. Do what I want, mate. This is not communist China. We don't want when to you're in Rome, dishes. you do as the Romans do. <laughs> Sorry. You're a Roman? Yeah, it's a, it's a 
saying. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, wait, we just want to... Alright, so this is not going to get anywhere. You can see that pretty close. Let's go see if the police get involved. Yeah, oh, here we go. Let's see what the police claim. Dr. K versus the gummy in this party. And uh, let's see what's going on. Here, oh dear. So basically, I think they're being told that in England, you're allowed to film in public, right? That... See, the, I, put your eyebrows down, mate. You're not correct. You're, you're not... You, you are amongst the public in an invited space it's so key to understanding that when you go in a shopping center when you go in a railway station cinema anything like that it's it's private they close the doors uh, they are they able to close the doors and stop you going in there if it was public they wouldn't be allowed to do that it's privately run it's privately managed we're not in china you're allowed to film in public and they're basically getting their knickers in a twist because we filmed it's such a dummy i'm um, and, and I hate like crapping on a fellow YouTuber and all that, but I'm punching up a little bit here. He's a dummy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I th I, I, th this is why I wanted to start getting into doing YouTube videos is because it's so clear to me that there's a huge problem and it's coming. Uh, Twitter is a publisher. Uh, YouTube is a broadcaster and it denies that it's a broadcaster. So it doesn't have all the laws applying to, it doesn't have all the broadcast codes applied to it. That's got to change because people are now making a lot of money on YouTube. So when those rules were put in place that it wasn't a broadcaster, people weren't making as much money as they are now. Multi-millionaires are making a lot of money out of YouTube by doing stuff like this. And uh, it's, got, it's going to change. And mark my words, this will change. I know. Basically, that's what's going on. And now we've got the He's police. He's got all clean sunglasses on. Communist flags waving it. So communist flags. There we go. This guy hates Chinese people. I mean, it feels like that, doesn't it? Do you not think he does? I don't hate these people, by the way. Just I just think they're... They'll probably start shouting. They'll say he's now smirking. He's, he's kind of like, okay, let's get cheeky. So this is a video about a guy playing boogie woogie piano, everybody. Hi there. How are you doing? Welcome to a video. I'm making a video looking at this guy here. He makes uh, boogie woogie videos. Is this video boogie woogie? Boogie woogie! Yes, sir. Yeah. Here we go. Come and talk to me. Don't film it, please. Well, it's not. Pu you see, her putting her hand up to the camera. It's it. It is so uncomfortable having people put a camera in your face, and she's kind of like saying, "I don't wait to film me." and out of courtesy and getting along with other people in the world, you should let her have that. You know, she doesn't want to be filmed. She wants to just do her job. And you're, it, it's it's kind of like, oh, just be polite to people. You don't have to. But they don't because there's this kind of like this audit, you know, the, the guys who do audits on YouTube, the audit channels, they love doing this shit where they, they just, sh they, they love the reaction, the hands going in the lens. It's great telly. We, we, we Listen, this is, this is going on your YouTube channel, it's, but I need to speak to you without this being on your YouTube channel. It's, it sounds like they already know each other, doesn't it? Oh, what about what? Is he probably in a public space? Listen, can I just have a conversation? Sure. He's not listening. He is not listening. Please, without your friend video. No, because, for, because the camera never lies. Sorry. Camera never lies, it's true. The camera never lies. Listen, I've got my camera on. Okay, so I've got my camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She does have a camera running, but... Imagine how hard it is to get hold of that footage. Let's have a conversation then. This is going on your YouTube channel and I don't want it to go on your YouTube well done. channel. Yeah, she doesn't really... Um, mm, uh, mm, uh, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? How do you stop people who who have been told you're no longer... She doesn't... She's not in a position to tell him to leave, I don't think, unless the management company say she needs to leave. And by the way, I'm not talking about my arse here. I've been to the website and I've checked... Talk to me then, Kerry. Listen, listen. She's at Kerry. We're in Britain. Right. We're in a public space. You're not in a public space, buddy. That's, that's all you need to explain to him. This isn't public. Free country. First of the matter is. It's not a free country. Nothing's. You can't do what you want. Go rape people, then, Mister Freedom. You can't because it's not free. You're not free to do as you please. <laughs> no. By the way, that sounds like that's that's something I think that sh we should be like. No, I was not meaning that. It was an example of we can't go. People cannot do 
as they please without, you know, they will be stopped. There are laws in place to stop you doing that. And and we accept them. Everyone accepts them. Oh, BBC are flashing up okay, alarms and alerts. You're waving a communist flag. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he did say that. And it's not a communist flag. It's the flag of their country. Meant to be going towards her? Are you trying to touch her in that regard? Oh, it's just changed gear entirely. He, his, his looking down his nose at them, uh, you know, they're kind of like vulnerable in a way. They're not They're, they're not in their home country. They, they you know, he... he touch it. That's why I have a camera. All right. Okay, that's why I have a camera. They've requested that the video where they've approached gets deleted and not used on your channel. No, they because don't. Because there's money being made and they work for a company, then their faces can't be shown. Well, they oh, there you go. So she's explaining to him that, you know, you're making money, and he is, and she knows him, and they've said that they're, they can't have their faces shown on a YouTube channel. That's interesting, isn't it? In, in, in that, you're not their private security agent. I'm not their private security agent. And we're in a free country. He's right here because uh, she's the wrong person to be talking to him here. She needs to get instruction from somebody to say, remove him, he's trespassing. That's all that needs to happen. And then she has power. She's got no power here at the minute, apart from, you know, unless, you know, uh, I, well, nothing really. He hasn't done anything. He's been, so far, he's basically just been impolite. We're in a free space, we're not causing the trouble. The problem is not from us, Kerry. The problem is they are coming over, telling us what to do, and playing the piano. Now, fair is fair, but you are not their private security guards. I never said and that like, was, and I'm so, having a conversation with you. And we're in a free space, in a free country, I'm not causing any trouble. It's not a free space, uh, it's not a free country. There's an allegation being made, and that's why I'm What's the allegation? Oh, the allegation's been made. Oh, what's that? Now you told me to stop filming, and now you say there's an allegation. The camera an never lies. The allegation. That's why I filmed ca You told me. Uh, he's not listening. He, he, he's interrupting her. You turn off my camera, and now you're saying I've got an allegation. He's repeating himself. He said this three times now. Andrew, what's the, the allegation? Why, the why he's asked her two times what the allegation is, and not listened to the answer, not, not waiting for an answer. I'm asking you not to film it, because I know that you are putting this on your YouTube channel. doesn't matter where it goes. We're in a free country. It does matter where it goes. Sorry, we're in a democracy. We're not we are in a democracy. China. We're not in communist China, no, that's correct. That's not racist, that's the truth. That's what I've all exactly, the other thoughts are. Why do you people come up to you bloody cat folks? It's Britain, fucking Britain, this. <coughs> people come over here. Come, come over here with the, the Japanese flags. Waving the Japanese flags from China. <laughs> That we're in a free country. He's been unreasonable, I think. Well, they came. Listen, Kerry, if I was over. Kerry, is that a total disregard for her, her role, you know, officer. You know, I, I don't know. He's like trying to talk to her like she's his mate. In China, and I, well, total disrespect for the police, isn't there? Out there? I started laying the law down to Chinese people at the piano, telling them what they come up with. Oh, they were Japanese. I think that's appropriate. They came over here, the guy started shouting at me, and he said, you're not allowed to film, you're not allowed... And well, it's not strictly to, uh, I haven't played it, but earlier on, he sort of said, oh, do you want to dance, guys? Guys, do you want to have a little dance? Do you want to have a little dance? Like, they're 14-year-olds. He's like, oh, do you want to dance? He did that earlier on with them, before they even approached him. Said, he approached them. Britain, I'm allowed to play. And I said, you're waving a communist flag. And then he said... He told them they're waving a communist flag. That's true, he did do that. He you're did say that. So, if I've done anything wrong, tell me. Oh, okay. Right, you need to you need to tell that she needs to. Oh, she's transport police. She needs to contact the management. I mean, I don't know if transport police actually have a jurisdiction at St Pancras. Perhaps they do. Like trespassing, maybe they can decide who is and isn't on there. He's definitely um, causing problems. He's causing problems by. Um, uh, they don't want him. They don't want him doing what he's doing. You know, the invitation is is quickly being withdrawn for whatever reason. In a free, we, this is a free speech issue. I'm sorry. This is a free speech issue. It's not. We are, I'm not causing any trouble. They are the ones making a fuss. And they shouldn't get the police as their private security. I think it's right. Their schedule must be going to pot. <laughs> They've got a tight schedule. You said that, have they? You said that. 
And on top of that, Kerry, you told me to stop filming, and then you said there's an allegation. Now, if I didn't have my... Yeah, what is that? Well, it could be the allegation is that... that what is the Andrew, allegation? How would I we don't know yet, do we? You know what? I'm don't call her Kerry, by the way. I am not causing the fuss. I'm just standing up for myself, right? Yeah, there's a fuss being caused, and I've come up to deal with it. Oh, no, listen, Kerry. I was causing the fuss of the Chinese. Listen. <laughs> What's he saying? What, they're from China. Why, why is he obsessed with them being from China? It's like, imagine they were Jewish and he kept saying, oh, they're Jews, they're from the Jews, the Jews, Kerry. Why is he flagging that they're from China all the time? They're from Scotland, Kerry, 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 the fucking Scotland. You know what Scottish people are like? You can't say that. They're, what, they're from China. Well, can I just say they're from China? Oh, I've had enough watching this guy. He's 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 an absolute donghead. <laughs> absolute donghead. So, um, if there's more to this and you know about it, let me know. Um, I'm going to get loads of abuse for even looking at this, I think. But uh, there you go. That's, what's his name? You want to go to his channel? Without the S. Uh, Brendan Kavanagh, then please, by all means, go to his channel and do what you like. Um, there's a bit of a fuss being caused about this video. Uh, it's very simple. As far as I can tell, he is, as I keep saying, filming in a private space where the public are invited to go. And it looks like, the because it's transport, it's St. Pancras Railway Station, uh, the transport police do police it. Uh, and they try and keep everything cool. Um... It's very odd uh, to go somewhere where um, it's very interesting because it's if 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 the if I was filming there because I don't have many subscribers and uh, they said oh he's got like a few thousand like five thousand subscribers they might say oh whatever not not bothered uh, but because he's got two point seven million or six million that's a big deal that's a lot of subscribers. That is a massive reach. Um, they might be worried for their lives. They might uh, agree with everything he's got to say about how rubbish communist China is. Uh, uh, you know, that's 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 very possible. But they they might agree with him. Uh, but but because he's going to put the stuff because they've been caught on his camera and he's going to put it on air, even after they've told him, please don't, we will get killed if you put that stuff on air. That's kind of different, isn't it? But it was just the whole manner of the, how things unfolded there. I don't think he was being particularly pleasant. He was saying everything he was saying was kind of fine, apart from the fact he he thinks all Chinese, he Chinese and Japanese people look the same, <laughs> which everyone knows they don't. <laughs> Very distinctive difference. <laughs> and then calling the officer Kerry, and uh, you know, and this is a so you know then constantly flagging that where they're from and their nationality is it's just all a bit smelly so what do you think uh of brendan kavanagh there's going to be like maybe you're from a and it's going to be political this isn't it it's going to boil down to politics um so let me know uh correct me as well um if i am wrong out of date don't know what i'm talking about See if you can um, come back with something in the comment section that isn't just abusive and calling people names, which is whenever I do stick my neck out and stand up against uh, stuff like this or or try and um, correct it and balance it out a bit, I get hurled with abuse from various sides. So in your nicest way, please do leave a comment down below. Find me on social media. Follow me on Twitter at Flooded. Uh, please like this video. I'm going to have to start doing this because I'm not getting anywhere but not doing it. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Support me if you can so I can make more of this stuff. I hope you enjoyed the last 34 minutes. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care and bye-bye.